can explain this, not what it looks like. I'm so sorry. I, listen, I'm so sorry. I didn't know, please. You guys, stop, stop, please stop. My son, may you go to America. Stay away from Akata people. Keep your distance from Nigerians. Me, I have said my own. Let's see his Jesus. Let's gang call. Yo. Hey, yo, that bitch is trifling, my dude. I swear to God, I'm gonna knock her goofy ass off next time she open up from nasty dentures. Hey, yo, hold on for a second, man. I got this, I got this poo poo ass nigga trying to speak to can me. Can you please move your car so I can park? Hey, nigga, can't you see I'm on the phone? Hey, I'm gonna call you back. My nigga. Hey, yo, find somewhere else to park. But this is my designated parking spot. I paid for it. Yo, get your square ass up off my block in a minute. I'ma bend your ass, my nigga. But this is my parking spot. Nigga, you still here? Oh, <laughs> you're a gentleman and a scholar. Forgive me. You trying to be a smart ass? No, no, no. I'll, I'll find another parking spot. Please, don't shoot me, Get please. Get your punk ass up off my don't block. Shoot, don't, don't shoot me. Bitch ass nigga. any trouble or else these people will not give you your green card though Yo, do you want to mess with me? I'll bust a cap in your ass, homie. You think I'm soft? Take these leads. She's beautiful, Dad. And if she'll file it if we get married, or my job will do it. Have to work. Bye for now.
grow a pair. <laughs> Hey, Alice. It takes a big heart to sponsor a kid from Africa. Hi, Julius. What's up? Nothing much. Just working. Obviously. Obviously what? Never mind. I was thinking maybe we can grab lunch later today if that's okay with you. I've got plans already. What about dinner? I'm busy. My mom's in town, so gotta hang out with her. Well, maybe we I can just... I need to finish this work, Julius. I'll chat with you later. I mean, I'll go with us, go and then move up. So, like, uh, I'm not... Why would we... Why would we scam our own people? Every, everybody wants to eat, you know? Some people want to eat more than others. You being a jack? Yes, I am. A maker, this now, like... Ava. Her good. Julius. Which levels now? Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> this guy done lost. Guys, pick broken. <laughs> Not be Naja, you be. Oh, yeah, leave him. He be like, say, uh, don't stay here. Uh, what kind of work do you guys do? Exports and imports. Many cars. We buy and ship globally. If you have a car you want to sell, eh? We'll be your guys. We buy cars, cash money. Nice one. Uh, where do you guys get the cash from? We buy cars all around. All around. Thank you. <sighs> Nothing, dude. Today sucks. Yeah, it does. Another day. Honest, man. Alice is something, right? Yeah. If you think he's gonna hit that first. I think she said she baked the cookies today. Cookies. We'll see who gives the cookie first. How about that? Whoa. Whoa. Hey. I think That's I'll enjoy this. Thank you I very much. Bake them myself. Oh, he's perfect. Thank you. No. Oh. No thanks. You're so kind. This girl came over to my house last night. Crazy nuts, but good kind of crazy, right? She did all kinds of things. I. I don't even know where to begin. Howdy. Okay, so what? she. How are you guys doing? She does. She does a, a flip into a split butt naked. Yo, <laughs> you yeah, seen that? Yeah. <laughs> Next <laughs> time, both of you. <laughs> now, but check this out. You the man. You the man. You the Let man. me see, dude. Uh, <laughs> I know. I was thinking maybe we can go to Joe's bar this weekend. Why don't you go hang out with Shaquan or Hakeem or <laughs> something like that? I don't know those people that you mentioned. Do, uh, do they work here? Where are you from? Uh, Benway and Anambra State. My mom is from Anambra State and my dad is from Benway State. What? And what country are you from? Oh, uh, uh, from Nigeria to be precise. Okay, Nigeria. So you guys are supposed to be like lawyers and doctors, those kind of professions, right? Such. Yes, I always wanted to be a special soldier. All right, soldier boy. If you could tell me who the president of the United States was in 1809, you could come out and have a drink with us. 1809. What? What? 1809. Do you even know who the president was in 1809? Shut up. Wow. Survey says, oh, I'm sorry. Rain check, though, buddy. Alright, let's do it. Hey, Alice. What now, Julius? Sorry to bother you, but what does rain check mean? Later. No, please, I want to know now, please. No, it means later. Jesus, what rock did you crawl out of? She didn't even notice my suit.
James Madison was an American statesman, lawyer, diplomat, philosopher, and one of the founding fathers. You took me seriously? Your word is your bond, right? Right. Don't worry. We'll use the rain check soon. I'll see you on the flip side. Yo, and let me hold 20 real quick. What? Nigga, are you deaf? I said let me hold 20 bucks real quick. Don't you speak English? I don't carry cash. Let me get that. This is my- Nigga, did I stutter? Good boy. Next time you better have cash. Hey, roommate. How's work? Work is work. What's wrong? You look dejected. Are you okay? Tired, Shante. Need some sleep. I can make you some herbal tea straight out of Kenya. Nice gesture, bud. I'm fine. You sure? What can I do for you, Shante? We can go to the movies or take a walk to ease your mind. I'm busy with work. <sighs> Friday or Saturday? Got office meetings those days. Rain check? I see you on a rebound, Julius. Howdy, Alice. You want to go on a date with me? Oh, that's stupid. You cannot ask her that directly. Okay. Hey, baby. You want to have a drink with me? I'm a prince from Africa. Shit, that's crap. I cannot stop thinking about you, my princess. I want to hold you in my arms all night. Hey, Alice. You smell really nice. Thanks. Uh, was thinking maybe we could grab a drink later today after work, since it's Friday. I have to feed some homeless folk. I'm sorry. You have such a good heart. Uh, what about next week? I'm studying for my GRE. I can help you with that. I'm good with math and stuff. Why are you working at Brian's collection agency if you're that smart? It was the only job available after graduation. And plus, they promised to sponsor me. Sponsor? A uh, residency. Like a permanent residency? Yes. If I had it my way, I would become a soldier. But since I'm not a resident or a citizen, that dream is on pause for now. You, a soldier? My dad was a soldier, as was his. Really? You're not even American. American soldiers are respected globally. They have benefits, they are well trained, and they get to travel the world. Julius. Please, just one drink. We are friends, right? Okay. Tomorrow, Joe's at 
Yes, tomorrow, 8.30, promptly. What do you mean, what am I doing here? I invited him with me. Is that a problem? I wasn't expecting anyone, especially not him. Can I get uh, two shots of scotch and a uh, water with lemon, please? A margarita for me. Salt or no salt? No salt. Sir? Uh, let me have mineral. Uh, excuse me? Soft drink, please. What kind? Uh, Coke. Hey, Julia, so, um, so how long have you been in the States? Going on two years. Why? I'm just curious, that's all. <laughs> she means, why do you have such a thick accent for being here that long? Thanks. All right, scotch. You ready for the food menu? Um, I know what I want to eat. Can I get a bacon cheeseburger all the way, please? A Caesar salad for me. I'll have the same thing that he's eating. Mm. So yeah, you should totally come golfing with us. You'd love it. Mm. My dad plays golf. I would love that. I got a great swing. I stroke it all day. Really? I'd like to see that. You know, I took a, um, a golf course my sophomore year in college. I go long, too. Maybe you can teach me some of your moves. You should let me drive your car sometime. All day, anytime. How are you even affording that? Perhaps after dinner? You're not afraid of riding. Uh, I mean, driving too fast. Please. My middle name is Danger. That car is like $200,000 plus. Oh shit, guys, I've got to go. What? This is an emergency. You ready? Thanks. Thanks, Julius. She go right for this one, for sure. Well, your credit looks good. Uh, how would you like to be leasing your Maserati? Oh, uh, with my credit card. Looks like that was declined. Uh, yeah. Do you have another way of payment? What? Uh, yes. Uh, I have three more credit cards. Okay, uh, how would you like those spread across? Uh, equally, please. Okay, that one 
that's good. Okay, that was good. All right, congratulations. So here's your cards back. Yes. It's nice thank meeting you. I'm gonna go grab your keys, okay? Right, thank okay. you. You're sure he made mistakes on his report for this quarter? On my mother, okay? I saw him change the report. Okay, I don't want Julius to know we're having this conversation. Okay, but I'm, I'm just looking after the company. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. Hey, Alice. Jesus, you scared the crap out of me. It's good seeing you, Alice. Yeah, we gotta hurry up and sign in. I don't wanna be late. Yes. You're not stalking me, right? What do you mean? Like, following me around? Uh, yes. I, I mean, no, no, no way. I, I'm not like that. But it's good seeing you, Alice. You didn't even notice my new car. You bought a new car? Yes, I thought you would like to take a ride in it. Not into cars, Julius. So, guys, guess what? I bought a new Maserati. It's not as fast as your Ferrari, but it's decent enough. I'll buy a Ferrari someday. Ferrari, bro? You hold now? My buddy let me borrow it when he went on a business trip, you know, to Italy. But, I mean, I had to give it back, but man, did that thing have some kick. Sweet, man. No, just once, bro. I want to feel the power at least once before I die. Driving down the boulevard, turned some heads, was a chick magnet. Mm -hmm. Wait, wait, so you don't own the Ferrari? What can we do for you, Julius? There's something I would like to discuss with you. We can discuss it here. I prefer the restaurant. It's private. <laughs> Uh, drinks and food on me. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> well, if you're paying, uh, 8 p.m.? Great. See you. had no idea. I don't understand what the deal is with this guy. I'm not quite sure what the problem is, but I think if you put in a good word, she'll come around. Why would I want to do that? You guys are closer. She's fond of you. <clears throat> She's fond of me, all right. <laughs> Come on, man. Look around you. There's plenty of fish in the sea. See? What are you talking about? Why are you so obsessed with Alice? The way she smells, her hair color, her eyes. She even helped raise money for St. Jude last quarter. She's just the ideal woman. All right, well, I'll tell you what. I'll do you a solid, but you gotta take care of me in return. Name your price. Five thousand. <laughs> yeah? <coughs> 
$2,500. Tell you what, you give me the full 5K and I'll tell you the secret to getting into her heart. Really? She won't be able to resist you, my man. Let's do it. But I have to save up a bit, though. You don't have to do all that. I mean, plus in the meantime, you know, she could rack up miles down there. I mean, you don't want somebody racked up miles, do you? I don't understand. Oh, man. Never mind, okay? It's a joke. It's a joke. I kid, I kid. All I'm saying is, is, you know, you use your credit card or cash app to transfer me the funds, and then when you have enough money, you can pay off your credit card. Okay. Mm. And don't worry, you know, I have, I have all kinds of apps that take any kind of transfer, bank account numbers, routing numbers, you name it. All, all right. <laughs> <laughs> And it went through. We're in business. <laughs> and you know, I want you to know uh, that I'm going to be straight with you, okay? I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. Okay. Wait, wait. Oh. Okay. First things first. You need to speak American, okay? I mean, use American slang. American girls like it when you can speak American. Yep. Can you teach me? Not me, a professional, or uh, just Google. Okay, uh, what else? Okay, what else? Uh, I can put a good word for you. Yeah. That's it? Your nuances could use some attention. Huh? Like social cues. Yeah, I mean, you need to learn lingo, slang, yep. jokes, mm -hmm. and everything in between the cracks, you know? But forget that last part, I just made it up. Just get yourself the book. American nuances for dummies, okay? But I'm not a dummy. Dude, okay. Dude, that's the point I'm trying to make, okay? When your kind, sorry, someone who's not attuned to cultural norms hears or sees the title, they get offended and they take it out of context. It's the underlying tone. Yep. Thank you, underlying tone. Okay. Underlying tone, it's not meant to be offensive. You don't take everything literally. Decipher the context of the sentence or sentences. Just research it with Google. You'll be fine. Okay? Oh, and women expect to be taken care of in all aspects. Mm -hmm. Well, in my country, we actually were supposed to take care of the women. And plus, I applied for the manager position not too long ago, but I'm still waiting for the manager to get back. He's actually supposed to be transferring me. We gotta bounce. Um, I got a hot date, all right? So thank you for the drinks, man. And, uh, you, know, you know, maybe I'll give you peace when I'm done, huh? <laughs> man, it's a joke, okay? All right, I'll see you at work. Good, man. <laughs> no, can I get thank you very much. Lee will let my fair aunt pass. Lee will let my fair aunt pass. Lee will let my fair aunt pass. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. 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 Sally sells Burn the sun. Burn the sun. Hey, roommate. I made some fufu. I came to see if you wanted some. I don't eat that kind of stuff. Why? I'm lactose intolerant. This is lactose free. I took my time to make this food. I only eat American food. I can make you soul food. No, please. No soul food for me. I can make whatever you like. You Gotta take this call. Sorry. Sorry. How's the US? 
Fine, Dad. How's work? Fantastic, Dad. Please hurry and get married so these people don't send you back. Life is hard in Nigeria. This virgin may have not forgotten your Dad, Dad, I, I know, I know. Okay. I'm still waiting for my $500. Sending it today. Thank you. Bye-bye yeah. for now. I, I haven't heard anything from you since I last applied. I'm wondering what the status of my application is. Why do you sound like that? Sound like what? Just did it again. I don't understand. Are you mocking me? No, sir. I am not. Sound different, that's all. Probably a good thing. It's a good thing? Yeah. I couldn't understand a thing you were saying half the time. <laughs> Keep it up. Thank you, sir. Oh, yes, your application. Matthew will be replacing me when I transfer. But, sir, I applied for the position before anybody in the office. I complied to all the company's rules and regulations. And I'm also punctual. It's not about first come, first serve here. It's about experience. I am the most qualified person here. I was promised to get my work permit after my practical training, and then my green card when I get promoted to the manager position. If you want your green card, then you shouldn't be making mistakes on your reports, Julius. You're lucky I'm not firing you. But sir, I have no idea Feel free to bring up any issues with HR. Have a good day. Bored of this game. Who wants to play Truth or Dare? I'm down. Let's do it. Ah, oh, you won again, Alice. What's up, Alice? You look like sunshine. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Matthew. <laughs> Not funny. I'm just playing, okay? Gee whiz. No, it's just my rent's past here again. And the water and the electricity are shut off, even after my freaking payday loan. Hmm. I think I can help you out with that. But you have to do something for me in return. Like what? I'll give you five grand if you smash all three of us. <clears throat> That's not even funny. Don't even joke about that. I'm good with just getting a top. Oh. Look, 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 look. Listen, okay? Nobody has to know. This will be our little secret. When was the last time you were pleased by three guys and made five grand all in the same night? Sounds like a steal in my book. I'm not a slut. No one said that. Take it. It's yours. Put it in your purse. Go buy whatever you want. Go over to the bedroom, get ready, and we'll come in one after the other. We'll be quick. This stays <clears throat> between us. On my mother. Heck yeah! No, I want to hear all three of you say it. Promise for sure! Promise. Never say I never did nothing for y'all, okay? You the man! Yeah, right. The man!
Hello? May I speak with Mr. Craig? This call may be recorded for training purposes. My name is Julius Alechenu, and I am calling from Brian's Collection Agency. You are three months past due on your card note, and we would like to know when you... Hello? <laughs> it's an idiot. You doing, Mrs. Brown? Huh? You know, don't feel bad. I mean, there's, there's a lot of people I know have done a lot worse things for a lot, a lot less money. So, just trying to cheer you up, okay? But if you ever want another one, she was drinking butter last night. She knows how to smash. That's not holy than that. Oh, she was fun for sure. I came so fast, dude. Thing away. Why, Alice? Why what, Julius? You stop with all three of them? Go ahead and judge me. You have never been in my shoes. So it's true. I didn't want to believe it. You bastards. You will get what you deserve. <laughs> yeah, sure we will. Hey, Julius, how's it going, my man? Give me my $5,000. I don't care anymore. Okay. <clears throat> Look, I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. You deceived me. You were supposed to put in a good word for me. Calm down, okay? It's just a misunderstanding. We can talk about this. Okay. Oh. <gasps> You're so fired! Get out of here! Oh, Raymond Andrew in my office now! <sighs> oh. Oh. Idiots! Sorry, bro. Sorry. What were you thinking? Sure You're blabbing, you guys are so stupid! Are you okay? That looked like it kind of hurt. Oh. Just get out of my sight! God! Come on, man. We're friends. We're friends. Man. We're friends. Wait, wait.
Where's my car? Someone stole my car. What's your location? Joe's Bar. Off Peachtree Street, Atlanta. You Julius? Did you call? Uh, yes, it, it's me. He came, and I was getting drinks, and then he turned, and then I turned, and I didn't see him again. Wait a minute. I I, I got a call that your car was stolen. Uh, do you, do you have a description, or do you, do you know who took your car? I, I'm not sure, but I think it was my neighbor. Your neighbor? Wait, wait a minute. Are, are are you freaking drunk? No. Really? Not really. No, really. How many fingers am I holding up? Three. Jesus Christ. Hey, you know what? He probably did you a favor. <laughs> <laughs> nuances. What did you say? <laughs> American nuances. I, I get it. <laughs> no. no. Listen, listen. Listen, you, you know what? Get a cab, go home, sleep it off, okay? I've got your information. If you think of something else, then you let us know. How about that, okay? If anything else changes, we'll call you, okay? I'm gonna give you a case number, and that's it. You understand? Yes. Go Thank home. You. Hello? Lacey Gossip, this is Sharon. How may I help you? Uh, yes. Can I come to the office? Well, who am I speaking with? Uh, this is Julius Alechenu. Well, how can I help you? I'm having some serious issues with my neighbor, and I want to talk about my lease. What's your address, sir? Uh, 1065 Peachtree. Actually, I'm going to be in that area in about 15 minutes. How about I come to you? Okay, perfect. I I'll be home. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Goodbye. Hey, Julian? Yes. How are you? I think Jamal stole my car. And I want to break my lease. Uh, who's Jamal? Down the street. Oh, Jamal. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about what happened to your car. Did you report it to the police? Did you see Jamal stealing your car? I called the police after it happened, but I was drunk. So they gave me a number to call just in case if I heard or see anything suspicious. Well, breaking your lease at this time will require you to forego your $500 um, deposit. I want to get out of this place, and I'm sick and tired of you people. Excuse me, sir, you need to watch your tone. Look, I'm not turning down anything. I have never been late on a payment, and I want out. Sir, you signed a contract, and it's against the company's policy to play favoritism. You can stay here until the lease ends, and then we'll give you back your deposit. Are you stupid? <laughs> you need to go. You the chop, Chris? Now me, you they call stupid. See this thing, if I woos you today, 
You no go say khaki no be like that. Come on, my friend, get out! Oh. Idiot. Hello. Y yes, I, I, I need a cop out here right now. I've been assaulted. Uh, I'm at uh, 1065 Peachtree. I need somebody out here right now. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Now, from 49, bump 21, thank you. 10 four. Julie Zalachenu? Yes. How can I help you? I received a call about a possible assault on this property. I'm going to have to place you under arrest. What? Please assault? Please turn around and place your hands behind your back. I didn't do anything wrong. Sir? What is going on? Why please you, do not make me add another charge. Another charge for what? What did I do? I didn't do anything wrong. Hi, Drew Thompson. My name is Mallory. I'm the HR personnel for John Stevens Incorporated. How are you today? I'm fine, thanks. Oh, please, sit. Now, as you know, the first phase of the interview is just a meet and greet. Relax, be comfortable. Since you don't have any collection experience, we'll start you at level one. We have a fantastic training team and support to get you started. How did that sound? Yes, that's fine. <clears throat> Do you guys sponsor international students for a visa? Can you elaborate? I mean, I'm on my OPT. What is that? Sorry, optical practical training for international students to obtain their residence after graduating from school. I only have six months before mine expires, but it will require sponsorship. I was promised sponsorship nine months after probationary work. Then I'll be promoted to a manager, but Unfortunately, I wasn't able to make it due to family emergencies. Oh, I thought you were an American citizen. We must have missed that on your application. We don't do that at John Stevens Incorporated. I, I would think that would fall in a specialized field of some sort. Well, I have your resume and I'll be in touch. If an opening in sponsorship becomes available in your skill set, we'll contact you. Thanks. My pleasure. Good luck, Drew. Hello, Daddy. I'm sorry, we're closed. I was walking by the other day and I saw that you guys were hiring. We already filled that position. Sorry. Do you know anyone else that's hiring? Mm, no, I'm sorry. Thank you. Sure.
Hello. Hello. May I speak with Julius Alicheanu? Continue. This call may be recorded for training purposes. My name is Jim Jones. I'm with Riggers Collection Agency. And choose your three months past due on your latest Riggs credit card payment. How would you like to pay? Who is it? What are you saying? I will pay just in between jobs for now. Not my problem. You've exceeded your grace period. You have 48 hours to evacuate. And if you don't, you'll be arrested and your belongings will be thrown out or auctioned. Hello? Parker Apartments, how may I help you? You said I had 48 hours, and you have already changed the locks. We'll be auctioning your belongings to make up for past due rent. That is not legal. Are you? Maybe you should read Section 8, Exhibit PA of your contract. It'll jog your memory.
Sorry, our rooms are all filled up for tonight. But you can try one of the other homeless shelters downtown. Trust me, ma'am. I've been to them all. And they're all filled up. Please. I'm sorry, you can try us again tomorrow. But I can sleep on the floor. We don't do that here. I'm sorry. What? I'm begging you. I'm sorry. I cannot help you tonight. Hey, buddy, I can give you some food. You don't have to steal. No, I'm, I'm not a thief. I don't do that kind of thing. You sure? The camera says otherwise. What do you mean, am I sure? I told you I'm not a thief, and I don't need anything from your kind. Your kind? Have you looked in the mirror lately? Someone needs a reality check. You think you're better than me? You are an alacrity, vacuous, ignoramus, imbecile. Mycophallus, Haggard, Prepos, Steros, Human Twap. What? You? Who are you to do nuances to? I read nuances for dummies. You dullard. Common manager. Good for you. Yeah, but not good for you. I'm calling the cops. Call the cops now. Number one. Hey! Hey!
Guy Alpha. I'm good. Ah. Which levels now? I gotta sell this car. Guy, you there okay? Huh? Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. Right. Where's the car's paperwork now? <laughs> I I borrowed the car. <laughs> you bought the car? Yes. <laughs> Guy, stop fooling. Where do you get this car from now? I took it from someone who won't miss it. Wait one second. Emeka! Hey, Emeka! Hey, Come and hear this to you. My guy, we know they do stolen cars, oh. So you know if he chopped the engine and send her to Niger? <laughs> <laughs> See this guy? Did they switch code for us, Abi? You didn't watch too many movies. Hey, hey, hey. Niger guys, eh? Usually we know they steal cars. But you seem to be a correct guy. I'll take them from your hand now. Uh, almost for the car. Thank you. Chai! Ah! Hey! <laughs> Why? <laughs> Did you chop, Chris? 2K. You think say I buy them for my bar? Or make them for the back of my house? Hey, hey, hey. You know, go come here and sort us so. mm. Huh? See this guy. Let's guy, go. guy, please. No vex, I beg. But I go take $3,500. My guy, come on now. $2,500 cash. That's it. We still have to clean, chop, and send it back home. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Bought the car. Would that be worth it? Keys there inside. Tell you what, if you got more cars, we got cash for you. Guy, make you take star bath, I beg. You're killing us. You stink. Niger guys, we know they do stolen cars. We are smarter than that. This thing they do in a high risk. If the shoe isn't broken, don't fix it. Ah, come on. Leave them, I beg. 
You can be making 100 times more than you are making now. This is 10K. I made this just pushing buttons on my computer. Last month, I made close to 50K. But see, we can't do it too much, oh. So are you interested? What do you think? Ah, correct guy. <laughs> wait, wait. What do I need to do? Ah, it's simple now. Sir, I'm calling about the application I put in for the loan three days ago. My name is James Sampson. Password is EKO. Address is 2035 Peachtree Road. 30618 Atlanta, GA. Last law of social is 6969. I see it. Thank you. Have a good day. All right. So this one is ready to go. With the phantom account number we set up for you the other day, all you have to do is call in with this info. Try it. Hello? This is Charles Travis. Just give me a name. What do I get? Well, if your evidence and information is substantial, we'll work on a reduced sentence. I want my lawyer. Look, I don't think you understand how serious the situation is. You're looking at federal time. I want my lawyer. Screw it. You're going away for a long time. Okay, wait. I'll give you the big boss. I even have pictures and recorded phone conversations. He wouldn't let us out of this scamming business. So I took it upon myself to do what I had to do. Clear. FBI! Hit! What? Hit! Ground, secure. Clear. Yeah. On your feet. Yeah. Sir, what's going on, sir? Baby, don't worry. I'll fix this. Don't worry. Officer, what did I do? What's going on? Move.
international section, yes, South sir. Gate. Hop in. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. You have 30 days to leave the country, Mr. Alicinu. I can't go back. Please, don't send me back. You've fallen far from your days of being a political activist in Nigeria to becoming a criminal in the States. I have never been a political activist, sir. I was simply voicing my opinion about the biased government rule in Nigeria. He took it personal because it went viral. Well, here we are. Now, Ameka and Ike, they skipped town. So what happens? Their big powerful attorney got him out on bail. We were made to believe that you were the big boss. Come to find out they lied to us, but it was too late. Yeah, they're nowhere to be found. My guess is they went back to Nigeria or Europe. They went under some aliens. But that's besides the point. Identity theft is up 25% in the last three years. And you have two choices. Help us track down these sons of bitches. In return, we'll grant you your freedom. Or don't help us. And we'll put you on the next flight back to Lagos. And you know what'll happen if we send you back. It's your choice. Get down! <laughs> I'm staying. Good choice. We own you, Julius. I say jump, you jump. Crawl, you crawl. Bark, you bark. I think you get the picture. You got a week to get your shit together. I have no place to stay. I have nothing. We've got that covered. Here's your first assignment. Get him to trust you. How? Use your brain. Didn't you learn anything in the joint? <laughs> What's so funny? You said joint. <laughs> Never mind. It was a joke. Keep your day job. Become friends with him. Get into his inner circle. Make him come to you.
You're welcome to go back to Nigeria anytime you want, Julius. I've done everything you have asked me to do, and it's getting dangerous. No shit. We live in a dangerous world, Julius. Look, we're gonna increase your pay. Make this more like a permanent thing. That's a kind gesture, but no, I'm not interested. He goes by the name Uzi. His government name is Uzorma Amachi. He's born in Houston, Texas, both parents Nigerian descent. How much? Pays 10 grand. No, how much is this guy worth, this Uzi guy? <gasps> I see. Well, 25 million spread across the globe. Please, consider my request. be here. It's dangerous. What do you think this means? What does it tell you? Did you hear me? You need to get me out of town. Witness protection or something. They are on to me. I think something is trying to get out. Maybe the painter was thinking freedom? What? They blend so well. I love acrylics. I used to paint back in the day. I was pretty good at it, too. I want out. Calm your tits. Strike you a deal. Five street soldiers and a kingpin, and I'll set you free. I can't do it. Can't do it or you won't do it. I almost died. But you didn't. How did you even find me? How did you know they were telling me? Big brother's always watching. What does that even mean? It means I got my eyes on you. Stalker. Hey. You should thank me for saving your life, Julius. 20 grand. I need 20 grand. What do you need that kind of money for? I have to fake it, you know? Blend in and look like the pot. Got away with it before. But I can't go up to these guys looking like this. They will smell me from a mile away. Thinking outside the box, Julius. Thinking outside the box. a canvas. I've been doing a lot of thinking. Tranquility amongst the chaos? My records could somehow be expunged. Why would I do that? I could focus more and do a better job. This seems like it's going to be a long-term relationship. Someone's coming to his senses. If this record could vanish, hypothetically speaking, two kingpins could sweeten the deal. I can do that, man, if you want me to. Balls, finally. But you ain't gonna do all that. I need proof. Paperwork showing that my records are. Look at you making demands. His name's Mike. He's just a lower level street soldier. I believe he can lead us to Kingpin number one, Mr. Deli Akasinia. Anyways, 
Mike hangs out at Skinny's Bar on Windy Hill Road, Southeast. A wire should suffice. You look different. These artists are talented. How'd you get exclusivity? Well, you know, to be persuasive, things just fall into place. A product of my circumstance. What do you want? I can take my talents nationwide. We're we talking about snitching? Professional infiltrator. Panhandlers, beggars, cost-effective, cheapo. You can sugarcoat it however you want. I get it. But by all means, if it makes you feel better, call it whatever you'd like. So shoot. Don't tempt me. I love your fantasies. If we had a professional infiltrator, someone who can get into places and travel the world, I mean places that have people that look like me, would that not be more beneficial to your cause? It's not gonna happen. When I get pulled over by the cops for a random broken taillight and I go into the paperwork, imagine working a big case and then it seizes and then the infotector gets sent away. Can you imagine that? You know I am good and I can get into places, get people to trust me. I have turned in more scammers than you have since you became an agent. Mike was a dead end. Who's Mike? Your last infiltration, Mr. Deliac Asenia is nowhere to be found. Wait your next orders. He's asking for a lot. I don't blame him. Don't sympathize with him. He's getting exactly what he deserves. He does have a point. If he gets caught by the cops at some random traffic stop and we're on a case, what then? I just can't see myself handing over a green card to a criminal. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to get what you need to get. And even if it's only a temp state, do we really want to risk him getting detained and possibly sent back? Our careers have soared since we came in contact with him. He's a gift. A pawn. If you inspire and motivate a man like that, he will do anything you want. I mean anything. Life's give and take, Gary. Just seems like to me he's getting whatever he wants. We're gonna have no cards in play. But look at the results. He can get even more with his papers intact. Once you bust Malcolm Jamal wide open, you're gonna get promoted to field director. Don't you want that anymore? Yes, but we could use his status as a calling card. He's proven his loyalty this far. Except for that one time he tried to run. With good reason. And what if he does it again? I'll shoot him myself. If this deal goes south, it's on you. Life's a risk. I think it's time to take a chance. Malcolm Jamal is the leader of the Land of Black Scars movement. These guys move everything from women, children, drugs, anything illegal. I want you to- He's dead on sight. You do no such thing. It's personal. Your job is to gather information that could lead to his arrest. You two are acquaintances. You should take advantage- We are not acquaintances. Do we have a problem here? Because you're all the same to me. The sooner you get that picture in your head, the quicker and the better your life is going to be. Thank you, Dr. Phil. You're welcome. Prejudice or self-hatred, Julius, I'm not exactly sure where to categorize you. You need a history lesson. Back to the subject. Send on me back. Excuse me? What? What? What's the point? Send me back. You want to roll the dice, you ungrateful soul?
Where are you going? Back to Lagos. You're serious, aren't you? It's gonna take three or four months for it to process. We already put in your application. With our connections, it could take a few months for it to go through. Are you serious? There's a bear shit in the woods. Let's get something straight. You're gonna be working for the Bureau for a long time. I mean a very long time. So just paint that picture in your head. When do we start? A week's time. A week? Sure, why not? This is an important case, right? Your point is? You know I can take that Malcolm guy down. That's why you're helping me get my paperwork. Stop being around the bush, Julius. We shouldn't rush this case. I think you should give me at least three to four months to get my mind and body ready. That's not gonna work. Do you trust me? Of course you do. Or else we wouldn't be having this conversation. Don't push your luck, son. Now that you're doing this for me, I want to make sure that I'm going in looking the part for real. I want to make sure that I've been trafficking and scamming for a long time. I need to figure out what he likes to eat, uh, his favorite food, his favorite color, the type of women he likes, or even animals. A case like this requires attention to detail. If a guy like Malcolm sniffs the slightest error, your case is over before it even starts. Let me think about it. Hey, Brown, how are you? Well, you're in good spirits today. Yeah, you're right. About what? He's motivated and transforming into a super snitch. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing here? I was a jerk. I don't know how to say this, but I'm really sorry for how I treated you. I know I still have a lot of learning to do, but I figured I'd start from somewhere. I'm truly sorry. We cool? Apologies accepted. I would love to hear about your trip to Nigeria over some fufu. I don't eat fufu. <laughs> Who's this? Hey, Matthew. It's been a minute. <clears throat> what do you want? I'm gonna go straight to the point. I just want to apologize for how I treated you at the office. That was years ago, man. Time flies, but it will bring me peace and closure knowing that you aren't carrying grudges around. Bygones be bygones. Cool. Let's seal it with the beer too. Uh, I got a lot of work and stuff, mate. Uh, rain check though? Sure. Oh, by the way, I'm doing really good now. I'm making over six figures in less than six months. You should see my houses and cribs. <clears throat> uh, you know what, my, uh, my schedule just got free. I can, I can meet you tonight. What, what time's good for you? Let's meet at one of my lofts in Midtown. 8 p.m. box. I'll text you my address. Make sure you bring Andrew and Raymond. Need to spread the love around a little bit, you know? Sure thing. Ew.
Julius? Hey, Alice. It's been a minute. How have you been? Cut the shit, Julius. You literally tried to buy my love. And how do you even know where I live? You're looking really well, Alice. <laughs> That's all you've got to say. Alice, sorry things went the way it went. I wish things could be different, but it's in the past. I have a proposition for you. You're like three to four years too late for that. How often do you remember that day? What do you mean? That was the worst day of my life. I try not to think about it. I know exactly how you feel. We can do something about it. We both were affected by that. Well, Julius, I've moved on, and I think you should too. We invite them over and make them apologize. <laughs> it's not gonna be that easy. I got a plan. Look, whatever, fine. As long as it doesn't involve murdering or dismembering. <laughs> Are you implying something? Me? No. But if you were, I would look the other way. I have something even better. You'll love it. Trust me. So you know, like Brad, he's, he's kind of a big dude, so his pants, they're rolling down. He's standing on the legs, and he goes, you remember that dance that he does? He goes, yeah, he did that, and he did that, and he goes straight into you. You're going to be rolling down. Hey, Shante. Man. Uh, these are my friends oh. from uh, back in the day. That's uh, Matthew, Andrew, and Raymond. Hey, hey Shante. <laughs> nice to meet you. Uh, guys, uh, drinks, anyone? Uh, coffee for me. Water with lemon. Water net wise. A cleansing session? <laughs> Oh, work's got me grinding. It's only on the weekends. It's open! But you got that video, right? Oh, okay. You ready to lose again, little fella? Hey, Alice. Uh, nice for you to join us. Please, please, relax. You're safe here. <clears throat> yeah, we don't bite. <laughs> uh, what would you like to drink? Two shots of gin. Hey. Straight up. Come on, Twinkle Toes. Yeah, I'm gonna go first. Yeah, okay, well, big moves. Oh, no, no, don't make that move. Oh, okay, $100 look what you did, on this. <laughs> there you go, guys. For you? Hey, so, uh, what's up with you, man? You look, you look different. Oh. Yeah, like you've been eating some iron or some shit. <laughs> Just trying to stay like Matt. Smashing hoes for money, you know? And yeah, chill with that shit, DG man, okay? She took the money. Okay, nobody forced her. No, you were a dick and you took advantage of my situation. No one put a gun to your head, honey, okay? <laughs> you were just easy. Still got the video. Choo 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 If only you guys were as big as your mouths, maybe you would have lasted a little bit longer than 10 seconds. Uh. <laughs> I think mm. they might have a drug for that deficiency. What's this bitch doing here, anyways? <sighs> Yeah, nice. Bitch! <laughs> nice. You slap like a woos. <clears throat> See, I was expecting a, a lights out kind of slap. I bet you your punches don't even carry weight. You're the weakest man I've ever seen in my life. A swindler and a con. You have no real life skill. You're just white and privileged and dumb as a doorknob. You gonna let him talk to you like that? Okay. You know, I dated two Nigerians in the past. That was too many bad apples for me. Third time's a charm. <laughs> like three years late. Just take your time and get to know somebody. Three hours already? Did you put too much dosage? Hey, 
Ew. Wakey, wakey. <laughs> we have three of you on tape, making out and doing all sorts of things to each other. No. No way, not possible. Hey, Alice, wait till your sex tape goes public. <laughs> you might want to check your phone. This bitch has gone tech on us. Wait, call me a bitch one more time. This bitch has lost her damn mind. Mm. Untie me and I'll show you a good time, bitch. Mm. I'm gonna deep fake the shit out of you and it's gonna make Sodom and Gomorrah look like child's play. What's deep fake? It's when they can take anyone or anything and make it look like whatever they want. What do you want? See, now you're asking the right question. Yeah, you need to apologize. Why didn't you just ask us? Because you bitches were too busy catfighting. Was I supposed to jump in? What are you waiting for? I'm sorry. Really? That's how you're going to apologize? Let's just deep fake their asses and post it. I thought deep fake was overkill. Okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. We took advantage of you back then. I was an asshole. You were vulnerable. I'm sorry. Please accept my apology. Satisfied? Just shoot him and be done with it. <laughs> I won't tell anyone. <laughs> Look, I apologize! <laughs> what else do you want? For this. Pussy to stop crying. Dude, please stop crying and we'll shoot you. I'll pay. I can pay, I'll pay. Name your price. 10 grand, 10. 20. I was gonna ask you for the money that you owe me, but I'll take the 20 grand. What you doing on my couch in the dark? Just paying a visit. No. I would not do that if I were you. What's gotten into you? Huh? You possessed or something? You come into my career knowing the consequences of your actions. I came here to make peace. I never come into a man's house in the dark when he ain't home to make peace? <laughs> Nigga, that's a first. I just want my ring back. I don't know. I kinda like it. Nigga, bounce before I send you to God. Say that one more time. You ain't shit without your gun. You know what I'm saying? That's all you got? You swing like a little bitch. <laughs> Do you know what the penitentiary does to a man? A man like me? Huh? Come on! Punk bitch, get up! Get up! Yo, man! Man, chill, man! The time has come for you to earn your points. Sounds like I started running before the ref fired the start of pistol. You were practicing before. Now you're in the big leagues. I'm not going to argue with that. Malcolm will be at Club Juicy tonight. How do you know that? Big Brother's got his eyes everywhere. We arranged for you to get access to the VIP section that's closest to him. Here, take this. Keep it on you at all times. It's a wireless recorder. Simon Templar. You're no saint. Not all Americans know, but Julius, I... don't screw this up. 
Are you forgetting something? You have to be more specific. I'm not Professor X. My green card. That's right. Please screw this up and prove me right. Which is it? Which is what? Don't screw this up or screw this up. <laughs> See? I got you to smile. I'll do my best. Hello? Kid's not picking up. It's very unusual. Oh, well, hello to you, too. Oh, excuse me, sunshine. How is the wife? How are the kids doing? Oh, the wife and kids are great, a-hole. Look, give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he's stuck somewhere. You're tracking him, right? Yeah. Tracker says he's at his house. I called him a dozen times. He hasn't picked up. Look, you're being paranoid. Maybe he just had too much to drink last night. Yeah. But he would have reported back by now. Cut him some slack. Yeah, I'll get back to you on that. Yeah, we got a problem. I should have tailed him. Now he's dead or gone missing. Yeah, it's all my fault. Yeah, I copied that. I'm requesting for immediate dismissal. Background check came up clean. I personally expunged his records. On what grounds? They're on a need to know basis. <laughs> Julius Alicino will serve his country well. He will use you and spit you out. For a man to finish buds and graduate top class is truly rare, Agent Gary. Whatever you guys had or did, which may be none of my concern. I believe in second chances, don't you? You made a fool out of me. Send in Julius. At ease. You can deceive these folks, but not me. You made me think that you were dead. You sold me out. How could you do that? Permission to speak, sir. You may. I was under a lot of stress and pressure at the time, and I thought the military was my only hope. A chance for me to get my life right. And my only chance to serve my American people by becoming somebody special. Special my ass! I sincerely apologize, and I stand before you a changed man. And I will serve the United States with all my heart and my might, and I will do my best to uphold the law and defend it by all costs. Sir. You were his snitch. I did some digging after he called me. That is not who I am anymore, sir. I believe so. But I got my eyes on you. You are dismissed. 
Thank you, sir. I will do my best to make you proud. Hoorah! I can see your body shape from the corner. I heard you what about your from Ghana. Roll up, smoke it, not be warna. Go up, first not that Tiana. A pretty fine face like we are Oh, dress and don't she on Gavarna. Yeah, baby girl, bend over. I come through, call me Mr. Luba. Um, baby, you the I me, girl The only thing that they see for my head and my face You the pretty fine girl, yeah Every guy for the old one to fight for your case Baby, you the I me, girl The only thing that they see for my head and my face You the pretty fine girl, yeah Every guy for the old man call you Mariana Oh, Mariana Talk, 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 so baby, give me work, 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 work. I hope you know good talk, 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 talk. So put your hands in the air, everybody give it toast. Baby, come close, bring down, I'll touch your toes. Put your hands in the air, everybody give it toast now. Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Bad girl, come trap on my money. Bad girl, we just silly come for buddy. Bad girl, we too sappy, just a G. After this, I hope you know good tell mommy, yeah. Uh, baby, you the high me, girl. The only thing that they see for my head and I hope it is You the pretty fine girl, yeah Every guy for the old one to fight for your case Baby, you the high me, girl The only thing that they see for my head and I hope it is You the pretty fine girl, yeah Every guy for the old one to fight for your case Yeah. Oh no no no, oh, baby do the rata ti rata ta yeah. Oh no no no, do the rata ti rata ta yeah. Oh no no no, so baby do the rata ti rata ta yeah. Oh no no no, oh yeah. Mariana she no get wahala. Mariana the cool of my temper. Mariana will take you to Ghana. Mariana January to December. Mariana, she don't care what her la Mariana, they cool to my temper Mariana, go take you to Ghana Mariana, America, one day, yeah